calves are keeping an eye on me. Check. Little Bessie, my pet calf, is following me. That's a check. Awesome. Check. This morning supplementary feed is out. Check. And away we go. Let's, right, let's get back to the job. We're gonna move this electric fence that we've got running down through here. Uh, I'm gonna move it over the back of these wattles over here. The wattles are really good feed for the cows. They tend to fatten them up pretty quick, but also, um, all of the old farmers will tell you that they are a great natural wormer and uh, I'm all for anything natural. So uh, we do feed them on this about this time of year before winter and over winter. There's uh, sort of natural bush grass through here as well. They get their supplementary feed as well. So let's get to it so we can put them up in this, up in this area here tomorrow. Okay, so we've got the electric up all the way down around here. There is a fence that I've put up uh, up the top there about, I don't know, 100 metres up there. Um, and another one up in here, but I just don't want them getting up in there. Um, I would far prefer it if they stuck uh, where the electric fence was. So we've been having a lot of trouble with um, data reception in the area. Um, I was on the phone for four hours this morning with Telstra. And I'll tell you what, they have to be the worst customer service I've ever come across. Absolutely disgraceful. Uh, made me go through hoops to try to get to them. Then they wanted a form filled in to justify that it was, that it was me. And then I ended up speaking to a manager who said, uh, if I take three speed tests, one tonight or one this afternoon, which I've done, um, one tonight and one in the morning, she can send the results in um, through to their technicians and they can have a look or whatever. Um, anyway, I might as well do the next one now. I did the first one, zero reception, um, one bar on the phone and no reception. Okay, now, by the way, this is my new iPhone mini and I am absolutely loving it. So, what we need to do is type in Telstra Speed Chest. Yeah, I should have my glasses on, I think. Hang on, I'm gonna put them on so I can see what I'm doing here. Right, test. Search. Let's see what we get. Now I've got to this point this afternoon and didn't go any further. Of course, when I turn Wi Fi on and I'm at home with um, the NBN Wi Fi, it's fine. But this is as far as we can get with it. With well, there's two bars there now, but it's still not loading. I mean, <sighs> Telstra is sort of trying to say to me. Oh, well, you know, you're not guaranteed reception and stuff. Jeez, I mean, we, as I said to a woman, we're 20 minutes from a capital city. She said, oh, well, that doesn't matter. Well, what are we living in a third world country? I, I really, I can't understand. I'm living in Siberia or something. I don't really know, but I don't think it's good enough. And it's not loading up either. So what we'll do, take a screenshot of that. as proof so I'll log that and uh, then when she finds me back tomorrow I can relay that I'm just not getting anything 
and uh, she can pass that on. First jobs first. We've got the cows over there waiting. Um, we've got a hay bale here, so we'll knock a bit of hay off that, go and feed them before we get stuck into anything else. Okay, so we've got a nice lot of hay on there for the first lot of cows. We'll go over and give that to them and then uh, we'll do the rest. We have three lots of cattle and we usually uh, use up one bale every probably three days. Um, it's only to supplement them and it gets their stomach going well. Um, it does them really good a bit of hay in their stomach. Helps them digest uh, any other food. Okay, let's get into it go and give this to them. So they've gone over the back there. I reckon they're thinking that because I normally feed them over there, that's where they're going to be fed today. Okay, that's got the first lot done. A couple of calves out here having a little bit of a pick as well. And this is little Bessie. Show me face, Bess. Let's go load up again and uh, go to the next lot. Right, the day's getting away with us a bit tonight. Um, the last job of the day, I just want to go over in that ploughed bit over there where I'm going to put beans and just break it up while it's still moist after the rain that we had. First of all, what we need to do, just put the camera there, we just need to tie these linchpins on here because yeah good old frosty the other day what happened I'm going around there and of course the plough well the linchpin came out I lost the linchpin and the plough came off so we'll just tie them on there like that that'll do for tonight got another one around here that will do just tie that one on there And we should be good to go. Let's go and get this done. Tell you something, I need to clean the windows in this tractor. They're not real good at all. I might have to get a squeegee tomorrow from Bunnings or somewhere. Right, let's get into it. Right key might help. Good one. I left that on the plough. My good knife dropped off. We've got a back though. We're out of it. Yep, good as new. Right, so that was a bonus getting that done. I really didn't expect to, uh, to get that done this afternoon. It's approaching 7 p.m. so I think we'll pack it in. But we've got this done and maybe, just maybe, we can uh, get it broken up a bit more tomorrow with the smaller discs and get ready to put some beans in there on Monday. Okay. Shut the gate. Go and have an ice cream. 